What are you doing to improve yourself? Monday motivation. So many things, and absolutely nothing at the same time. When I first began my self improvement journey, I was doing everything. I was telling my clients many of the things in the list below meditation, cold showers, wrote down my goals, visualization, and so on. None of it really worked for me, and none of it truly was working for them. It just made me think there must be something deeply wrong with me. Life went from bad to worse. Then I came across someone who helped me wake up from the dream of my thinking. This person helped me see that all feelings are generated from within, not from achievements, practices, or possessions. So I stopped strategizing, fearing, blaming myself, and worrying about what I said and what I did. Oops, didn't cold shower long enough. Whoops, didn't journal exactly after doing yoga at exactly 8 p.m. Oh no, have to restart my streak for missing the gym. Our ancestors would have never missed a day of activity. Instead, I began moving and got on with life. Like animals. Ever notice how they don't need self-improvement programs and practices to be awesome at life? Today, my approach is fundamentally unintellectual. I cut myself slack. As much slack as it takes. I don't spend much time monitoring what I say and do. And if I say or do something stupid or negative, I don't give myself a hard time about it. I just take a mental note and move on. Self-punishment isn't necessary for learning. Or even that useful. Instead, I just let my life flow. Please do not take this the wrong way. I am in no way saying to live life however you want and not be aware of your actions. I'm saying to live life. It's amazing how easy and effortless life becomes when you just do what occurs to you and stop spending so much time in your head. So rather than add yet another thing to do and practice and remember to improve yourself, realize how far you have come and how awesome that is. The rest will take care of itself. Stop thinking and get on with it. Thanks for this. Loving your content. This is a great post. I was thinking of posting something similar to this. People just have to stop caring so much about what others think and live how they want. That is a major reason so many people have problems and it's because they let people dictate their actions and thoughts. I'd like to say, the whole cold showers thing is bonkers to be. I've heard about it for years. Heard the benefits. And blah blah blah. Aside from being able to proudly say I take cold showers. And that means I'm disciplined I don't get it. I tried it and I like hot showers better. I like them steamy it makes me happy. What the fuck is this cold shower nonsense? Can someone tell me what it does for them that a hot shower couldn't do? And please skip the part about discipline or about helping you wake up. On my third week of insanity max 30. Not biting my nails. Stretching every morning. Getting a reasonable amount of time to sleep. Physical exercise 4-6x a week. Dancing and seeing my friends on the weekends for some socialization. Everything in balance. 2023 so far. Reading a book a week. At the gym at opening time. Haven't logged in an online video game up until now. Deleted many procrastinating apps. Working on a certificate and applying for training courses that could potentially better my chances at getting promoted at work. We'll leave this website soon. I think I'm on a similar journey as it happens. I think the condensed version is that I stop giving a fuck. To elaborate on that, it's not that I don't care about anything. But now I only care about things that are genuinely worth caring about, which is a very short list. 
basically, you try and better yourself. And you take advice on board. But you don't beat yourself up about it. Nor do you have any particular targets other than just getting on with it. For years I've been depressed because of the standards I held myself up to. Standards that I was struggling to attain. Now I just let shit happen. What will be? Will be. I just finished lifting weights. And I'm fasting. I like to just eat an evening meal on Mondays. So that I get as close to a 24-hour fast as I can. Yes. Cultivate a love for doing the positive things for yourself and you will always look forward to them. It won't be a grind anymore. It's not a struggle. There are always opportunities to live and be your best so capture those. Finishing up math homework and taking the first math test of the class on Wednesday. Have to study for college and trig math test on the same week. Taking less naps time to be productive.